Good afternoon. Um, I'm a postdoc at the University of Waikato. Today I'm presenting work done by uh, with colleagues at Niwa Hamilton on the Nutrient Pollution Removal Ecosystem Service as part of the uh, Valuable Seas project. So excess nutrient loading from catchments is causing degradation of our coastal ecosystems and loss of the things we value about these environments. There is this natural process called denitrification that happens in coastal soft sediment environments and this um, is a natural microbial process that converts and removes this problematic bioavailable bio nitrogen, removing it um, and returning it to the atmosphere. And this denitrification process underpins um, this nutrient pollution removal ecosystem service. So the aim of this project was to map denitrification. So the base data from this, for this project came from my PhD thesis, which sampled 118 th sites across um, four estuaries in northern New Zealand. And this data set included um, environmental variables as well as a measure of denitrification called denitrification enzyme activity. And this data set was used to create a, what we call a global model for predicting denitrification enzyme activity using boosted regression trees. So the study system for this project was the Whitford Embayment, just south of Auckland. Um, this area, we had no prior knowledge of denitrification or measurements of denitrification enzyme activity, but we did have existing um, spatial environmental data. So this existing spatial environmental data is mapped here across the Whitford Embayment. Um, so red is high through to blue being low. Um, and this data was combined with that global model to um, using a bootstrapping technique to um, predict DEA across that Whitford Embayment. So this map shows the predictions of DEA. So um, red is high denitrification enzyme activity in um, the arms of the estuary there and blue is pr um, low DEA predicted it out in the bay. And this, this model comes with a level of prediction uncertainty. And this is critically important for us to understand this prediction uncertainty if we're going to use this information for um, management decisions and spatial planning. So from here we needed to validate this DEA map. So in March this year, the NEWA team went out and surveyed 19 new sites in the Whitford Embayment and collected new environmental data and we measured new, um, denitrification enzyme activity again. So this plot shows the denitrification enzyme activity predicted from the model versus what we actually measured um, in March. Um, so an R squared of 0 0.6 so says that the model's not doing a too bad job at predicting what's happening in reality. So the next step was to combine that existing spatial da um, environmental data with the new data, update that global model, and then remap DEA onto the Whitford embayment. So again, we are predicting high DEA in the arms of the estuary, and again, a level of prediction uncertainty. And this has changed a little bit um, from the previous model, um, and that's telling us that we are increasing our understanding of the prediction uncertainty. So this map here shows that predicted DEA across the Whitford embayment, and the dots are telling us, the dots are the actual measured values. So where those um, colours match up, that's telling us that the model is doing a good job of predicting what's actually happening there. So the next step here is um, to roll this out into a nearby estuary, the Wairoa embayment, um, and this work will be done next week. So We'll go out and again measure another 40 sites, measure denitrification enzyme activity, and this will be used to again update that model, um, further understanding our, um, how we can predict DEA in estuaries and furthering our understanding of the uncertainty around that. Um, and then hopefully the ultimate aim is to roll this out to estuaries throughout New Zealand. <coughs> 